Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. I have a question from Barry on my advice column today. And Barry wants to know, I was intimate with a long time friend who is now ignoring me. What happened? What did I do wrong? Well, sometimes what happens, Barry, in cases like this is that you both have a sort of maybe a little bit of a chemistry for each other because you're so close and you have been for such a long time that you all question whether you want to go one step further and jump over that, that friendship line. Now, it sounds like it was sort of a mutual situation, which is a good thing. It could be just that she's scared and she's running away because she feels now that she's ruined a really good friendship. And this can happen, but I always say, why not take the chance? If you're really great friends and you get along that well, maybe there is something else. Maybe you've just kind of hidden your chemistry all these years. And now as you've gotten a little bit older, you're understanding that, wow, this person is so incredible. I want to be with them more than friends. So you take that little over the boundary sort of hop and you say to yourself, you know what? I'll worry about it later and see what happens. Well, not everybody reacts the same way. When you do venture into this other side of the friendship zone, it can make one of the two people freaked right out. And this happens a lot more than you think because now they're at a place where they go, well, I really liked having that platonic thing that we had together. We can be each other's plus ones at weddings. We can, we have a, a great understanding that nothing's going to go further and there's no expectations. It's really comfortable. But you know, there's one thing about being in a relationship. You need to be really great friends. So you both consented for this to happen and to take this other step. So she was obviously as curious as you were. But what's probably happened is now she's scared because now she doesn't know what to do. Like, are we going to go into this, this other place? Are we going to take this further? What if he only wanted it to be a one-time fling? What if he's having second thoughts? And all these things go through her head just as much as they're going through your head. I, I really suggest that you call her. Don't text her. Call her. Talk to her. Ask if you can set up a, a little coffee date or something where you can talk about it with her. And be really honest with each other. I mean, you've been friends for so long. You can sit down and be honest and just say, you know what, it was weird. I didn't like it. I really like you as a friend. Um, maybe we needed to get this out of our system. Or maybe you find out that you both really, really enjoyed being with each other, but you were afraid the other one didn't want to go into more of a relationship um, area with each other. And the fact that she's not responding or contacting you as much as she used to, then you have your answer that something has definitely changed the dynamic of your friendship. And you want to get to the bottom of what it is. So don't wait too long, but don't stalk her with texting. Don't pretend it never happened and sit down with her and tell her how you feel. You be the one to tell her how you feel. She probably doesn't know what to say about this. And it's obviously something that is really bothering you. So be, be the guy, step up and question her and be honest about your feelings towards her too. Because there's nothing wrong with a friendship turning into a romance. It happens all the time. It did with me and I married the guy. So there you go. It can happen, but don't pretend it didn't. Thanks, Barry, for your question. Keep them coming, everybody. I love to hear from you. It gives me great show topics. Thanks for subscribing to my channel and liking the video. And please comment below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.